Hi, this is Miss Hutchins, and today we are doing lesson 1.2, Counting Cubes and Pattern Blocks. In math this year, you're going to be doing different activities when they're available, especially when we come back in person. Um, I'm going to introduce two new activities, and then you can decide which one you would like to do first. The first is called Billing Cube Things, and it's similar to what you worked on in the previous session, except this time you're going to use 50 cubes. If you choose Building Cube Things first, the first thing you do is count out 50 cubes. It's smart to try to arrange them so that they're easy to count. As you can see, I have 50 right here. What would be some good ways I could make sure that I have 50 cubes? One way would be to count them in singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I would keep counting until I got to 50. But there's a faster way to make sure I have 50. As you can see, whenever I counted this tower right here, I had 10 cubes in it. Do you think I have 10 cubes in all of my towers? If you said yes, you would be correct. I have 10 cubes in all my towers. As you can see, they're all the same height. So an easier and faster way to count by 50 would be, or count to 50 would be counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I have 50 cubes. Once you have made sure that you have 50 cubes, you're going to build something with your cubes. It could be an animal, a toy, or something else. You may not need exactly 50 cubes to build your cube thing. It's okay to use a few more or a few less, but when you are finished, make sure you know exactly how many cubes you used. I'm going to make something now. I chose to make a giraffe with my cubes. I already know that I used 20 cubes to make this giraffe. Let me show you how I know that so quickly. I took one tower of 10 and broke it in half to make its legs. Five and five make 10. I did the same thing with my tower of green cubes. I broke it in half to make a body and its neck and head. Five and five are, is 10 again, and I know 10 and 10 is 20. What did you decide to make with your cubes and how did you know exactly how many cubes you had? The other activity is called Ways to Fill. It uses another one of our math tools, Pattern Blocks, that most of you probably used in kindergarten and in first grade. You will use Pattern Blocks to fill in the outline and record the shapes you used in the table. Before we start that, I want to go over the shapes and their names with you. We have a yellow hexagon. a blue rhombus, an orange square, a green triangle, a red trapezoid, and a tan rhombus. 
We are now on page five of your math book. And we're on ways to fill shape A. We're going to use those pattern blocks to figure out how to fill this shape. It's kind of tricky, so you have to really pay attention to what you're doing. For example, if I try to put this hexagon in here, am I going to be able to fit it perfectly? No, look at the corners. They're hanging off the sides. So I know I can't use a hexagon for this shape. Maybe I should try my trapezoids. Hmm, it won't fit that way, but what if I turn it that way? Ooh. Oh wow, those two fit. I wonder if another would fit here. Oh no, it hangs off the edge. I wonder if there's another shape I could maybe fit there. I have to think about what this looks like. What if I try a blue rhombus? <gasps> wow, they all fit the shape perfect. As you see, I have none hanging off the sides. So now that I've figured out what shapes can fit in here, I figured out one way to do it. So I'm going to come down to the bottom of my page and I am going to fill in the first way. It has pictures of my shapes right here so I know what to write. I did not use any hexagons so I'm gonna write a zero. I did use trapezoids. How many did I use? Let's count. One, two. I used two trapezoids. So I'm going to write that right there. Let's see, did I use any rhombuses? The blue ones, as you can see, they're not the color down here, but you can see this one's fatter than this one. This one's a skinny rhombus. So for this one, I'm going to put one, two, two rhombuses. Do I have any squares? No squares. No skinny rhombuses either. And no triangles. Now it's asking for the total amount of blocks. How would I find out that Total. Already, Lincoln. It is the best way to figure out the total amount of blocks would be to add my numbers together. I have zero, two, two, zero, zero, zero. So I know that if I add my zeros together, I'm just going to get zero. So I can add two and two, and that's going to make four. So I'm going to write four. Let's check my work. I can check it by counting my blocks. One, two, three, four. Can you come up with another way to fill this shape? Go ahead and complete this page and list other ways using the other shapes. Will another shape fit in there? Well, after you've completed this page, go on and do page 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Thank you for listening. Bye.